If someone told you that your memories of last year were not stored in your brain, would you think they are crazy? Doesn't the brain act like a mysterious movie camera that captures the details of every moment? Scientists know that certain parts of the brain are crucial for memory, and that neural connections are strengthened from use. They argue that the brain's trillion neurons can easily hold a lifetime's experience. But exactly how might memory be stored in the brain? Mysterious neural holograms? No one knows. Memory is a black hole of scientific understanding. To attack the question, let's start with the most significant aspect of memory, its chronological organization. The details of every moment enter memory. We do not confuse what happened one second ago with what happened one hour ago, a day ago, a month ago, or 10 years ago. With time, many details appear to slip away, but they all sit on a vast timeline that starts at birth. So even if these events were somehow etched into the brain's tissue, what provides their organization in time? The box may contain thousands of life's pictures, but how do we know their order? How do we know when and where each was taken? What provides our mental timeline? Can our memory machines provide a clue? Take a movie camera. It sequences images in time, but only because these images are physically ordered in space on a film strip on a, or microchip, one after the other. Same with computer memory, records, CDs, books. Data is chronologically organized in space, bit by bit, line by line, page by page. Reading a book, we retrieve the information as our eyes move forward in time. This is how our memory machines work. We move through time and replay memory patterns inscribed on solid surfaces. But by themselves, this memory is timeless. It sits inert until it enters the timeline of the human mind. So even if billions of memory images could somehow be permanently etched into your brain's neural network, what possibly provides their chronological organization? No clue? Expand this question to include the rich instinctive memory of animals, and the question becomes far more profound. Lacking an answer of any substance, isn't it time to step way outside the box of common sense to consider that something incredibly mysterious is going on in an unexplored dimension of time and mind?